Welcome back in it fans. Today we're off to Blackport home. Finally the international break is finished. Back to proper football today. Um, it's going to be quite hard obviously without Regan Paul but Marlon Pack might be able to come straight back in. It's a big question. Um, I'm going to say 2-1 today. What about you Mush? Yeah I think it's going to be a really hard game. Uh, Paddy Lane's out as well we read. Yeah. Um, so I went down back at Fratton Park today as well. Um, Blackpool, pretty good side. Uh, I think we're going to draw 1-1. One, one. Who's on the Wall of Fame today then, Mush? Wall of Fame today. Uh, we've got to go right to the other end of the room today, but he is up. So today, played about 80 games for Pompey, uh, about 20 for Blackpool. It's the somersaulting Luar Luar. Oh, and Dale, are you excited or nervous to be back here today? Very excited to be back, mate. Very excited. Good to see your old friend. Yeah, Depo. And can we still get a Pompey in it? <laughs> Pompey in it, mate. Cheers, Owen. I'm here with Josh. What's the score going to be today? 2 0 Blackpool. Kev, the Central Brown Supporters Club. What's the score going to be today? Uh, I'm going to go with a 2 1 win, probably. I'm here with the two jeans. Is there anyone we should look out for today? Oh, Kenny Dougal for me. Uh, Marvin Patetta for me. And obviously, Owen Dale's here for a year on loan. Yeah. And he's come back to you. How's he doing? It's good. I like him very much. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah, like agree him? with all that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Doing well. I'm here with Harry. What's school going to be today? 2-0 uh, Pumpy. Do you think Marlon Pack should come straight back in today? Um, yes, I think we've missed his leadership, although Joe Burrell's done a great job as captain. Yeah, um, and I think it's helped Joe's discipline. Marlon Pack being one of our own, his leadership, his experience is important to the yeah. team. You said no school predictions, but can I at least get one today? Oh... <laughs> We don't because it always goes wrong. It always goes, all right, I'll say 2-1. To us. <laughs> no, I've got I've got my old shirt on because I wore it last week. I haven't worn it for four seasons and we won, so I've put it on today. Lucky shirt. Do you think you make the playoffs? Absolutely. Will you win the finals? Yeah. And do you think Marlon Pack should come straight back into the squad? Uh, I hope so, yeah. And is there anyone we should look out for? Karamoko Dembele. Absolute baller. How's Owen Dale getting along as well? Obviously coming from here. Yeah, he's all right. He's, he's doing his bit. Left wing back. And we see you every week getting loads of photos signed. Can you tell us what they're actually for and like what you actually do? Yeah, photos for the supporters club signed. I'm di dishing out membership forms on the day to get new members. We're 18 short of a thousand members for the season. Um, we do a mascot package, meetings with the club. As you've just said, they're 18 short of a 1,000. By the end of the season, they want a 1,000 members. So if you haven't already, join the supporters club and let's get them to a 1,000 members. Yeah, uh, 10 or a single membership a year or 15 a family membership. And on that, um, it includes two adults and up to four kids. Owen so Dale, will he get a good reception today? Uh... I guess he might, but I hope he doesn't score. <laughs> Today's player profile is our ex-70s player and famous football pundit, the unbelievable Chris Kamara. Chris Kamara, player profile, but before we start, obviously your standout moment was commentating at Fratton Park and obviously you played over about 80 games for Pompey. Are there any standout ones from them? Oh, I love my debut uh, for Portsmouth against Luton. Way back in 1974-75 season, alongside George Graham and Peter Marinello. So I love that, yeah. So, pick a card. Pick any card. Here any card. Go. There we go. You've got, of course, it's number five once again. Yes. Growing up, who was your boyhood footballing hero? Oh, it had to be Pele. He was my icon. And I watched him play in the 1970 World Cup. And he, he was amazing. And that team just cemented my love of football. And what's your favourite goal you've ever scored? The favourite goal I've ever scored was for... Leeds United against West Brom. When I was a kid, it was my ambition to play for Middlesbrough 
and my dream to play for Leeds. So to score at Ellen Road was something else. And what's the favourite trophy you've won or final you've played in? Uh, my most favourite trophy is as manager of Bradford City, the playoff final we won and got promoted to the championship. And if you weren't a footballer or hadn't been a footballer, what would you have been? A singer, of course. I brought out two albums, yeah, so I would have been a singer. And what's your favourite band or artist? Elton John. I love Elton John. He's my hero. And I had the good fortune of meeting Elton. So he was everything and more that a hero should be. Favourite Elton John song? Uh, I have quite a few, but I'd have to say your song is my favourite. And what's your favourite holiday destination? Uh, I love going on safari with my wife and so we go to Kenya a lot. Thank you for your time and can we get Pompey in it? Play up Pompey. Thank you Chris. Thank you. <laughs>
last one. I thought we would have maybe been able to turn it down, but I don't think we'll be able to now. Well, we have been ripped apart today. For, well, well, you could say without Rick and Paul, without Joe Morrell, without Marlon Pack. We're not at our best, but let's stay on the positive side. It's only one game lost. Let's just hopefully win Tuesday night. Can we get a pumpy in it? Sorry? Can we get a pumpy in it? Whip. Pumpy, no. no. Can we get a pumpy in it? Pumpy in it. Cheers, Kev. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. And can we get a pumpy in it? Pumpy in it. Can we get a pumpy in it? Pumpy in it. <laughs> oh, they're pumpy in it. <laughs> and can we get a pumpy in it? Of the mighty pool. Josh Martin, obviously, um, although we lost, it was still a good game and it's your first game back for a few months. What's your thoughts? Um, yeah, it was very nice to be back playing. Um, you know, it was great to play in front of you guys, the fans. Um, unfortunate with the result, I think, I think we could have maybe put a few chances away in the first half um, but you know the red card I think you know killed the game in the end so um, yeah we're just unfortunate and obviously it's your first time on the channel there's going to be many more times you're going to be on but can we get Pompey in it? Pompey in it Cheers Josh Thank you. Just got home 4-0 defeat well we had to lose at some point I mean I was believing in myself that we could go on beat until Christmas obviously that didn't happen but as I just said, we had to lose at some point and today was the day, but hopefully we can just bounce back Tuesday. What do you think, Mush? Yeah, I mean, don't take anything away from Blackpool. I no, really they were a really side. good side. Good side, good organised side. I thought we played all right, to be honest. I thought the first half was really even. Um, and once you go down to 10 men against a good side, you're not, you know... You're not coming back. We weren't coming back from that, were we, I don't think. I've, no. Even at 2-0, I kept thinking, oh, if we can get one, but... Hey, like you said, we had to lose at some point. We've lost. Get it out of the system. Hopefully bounce back Tuesday and uh, go on another 28 game on beating run. So, uh, I hope you like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. And um, we'll see you Tuesday for Burton Away.